Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode and today we are going to learn about how we can do web automation with Headless Chrome. So in this tutorial basically we are going to learn about a library, basically kind of you can say a wrapper that is written on, on, on the top of Headless Chrome which is known as Chromeless. So and we will basically going to learn how we can leverage the Chromeless library to run our test cases in Headless Chrome means there are lots of lots of things that we can automate if we wanted to do uh, if wanted to do using the headless chrome right let's get started so table of content include that uh, we're basically going to learn how chromeless works and we are going to install it we are going to run certain test cases and basically we'll after that we'll be going to see certain api documentation and how we can configure this uh, chromeless uh, test cases that we have written into and how we can run them continuously or probably using any uh, continuous integration and content development so all right so let's get started so, uh, so first of all let's see uh, let's understand what is it uh, let me go to the tab yeah let's let's go to chrome so if you go to github.com slash Prism GraphQL slash the, the URL that is given the Chromeless. Here they are mentioning that the Chrome automation made simple runs locally and as, as well as you can run your test cases on AWS Lambda. So what are the benefit of running it on AWS Lambda is that you can easily get some free tire as well as free sign up means you can say that if there are a uh, few of the test cases you can run it for free if you wanted to test it out the Amazon AWS Lambda demo and basically in new in the next tutorial probably we are going to cover that part but in this part we are going to cover locally how we can uh, run our Chrome, Chrome less locally so what we need is that uh, it's very simple one if let's uh, let us do one thing let's try out how it works so this is a playground that they have uh, uh, given us uh, where you just write your code whatever it is here in the left left hand side part and you will get the output here all right so what they have written is that they just make 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 an instance of chromeless and after that uh, what they are doing is that they called chromeless and this is called as chaining mechanism where you can just uh, whatever you wanted to do you just uh, do it by dot operator so what we are doing is that we are going to graphql uh, graph.cool.com scroll some and take a screenshot and after that whatever the screenshot that we have taken here we will have it and we are going to scroll print and after that we are just closing the headless chrome that we have run using the chromeless library right so let's do one thing uh, let's run it uh, sometimes it fails but try again it will definitely going to do it the trick for you so uh, it, yeah so as you can see it has printed out some url let's go to that url and you can see that the website screenshot is coming so this is the taken by aws lambda where the chromeless instance were running so how you can you can say that uh, means you can understand that how easy it is to run our test cases without using our own resources but uh, this is not what we are going to do in this tutorial we are going to learn about how we can install it locally okay to install locally uh, what you have to do is that it's very simple uh, there are two ways basically you can install it that i have already mentioned that you can run locally as well as you can run using AWS Lambda. We are going to cover this part in this part, this the local part, right? It's very simple to install local setup. You have to just install npm install cross Chromeless. So what is npm install Chromeless do is that uh, if you have Node installed Node.js, before that the first dependency with npm is that you have to install Node.js. What you can do is that you just go to Node Google and type Node.js. Here just install the latest LTS version and you will have your npm package installed all right after that go to the command line and let me to show you some, some something like this you just go to the command line and npm here and you type the command like this npm install chromeless and save save we are because doing because we are creating a uh, project of it all right so now you have installed the chromeless in your uh, local machine you have you can run this test where what this test is that it gets the instance of chromeless and here we are calling one function async what 
we are doing is that basically the execution going to run run method because we have mentioned run dot catch so the first thing will be run is run we are getting the instance and we created a one variable with screenshot and call the instance chrome and the chaining mechanism after that we can use go type press page screenshot means uh, we can use the flow these are basically you can say kind of uh, let me go let me do one thing if you go to api documentation here you can use these methods which are already given or already implemented in chromeless library right so there are few methods like back forward refresh are yet not implemented but they are going to implement it in like probably next couple of months now what you can do uh, you can go to google url and type chromeless and after that uh, it basically going to get the input from this and press 13 and wait for the results and take a screenshot of it so it's a very basic test uh, you can run it if you wanted to run it so let me show you how you can run it so the first thing first uh, if you have node installed uh, you can what you can do is that uh, you just have to type npm in it and your project will be start and this is how your project will look like and we have a one packet for json so when you do npm in it it's going to ask bunch of questions just say yes 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 yes, yes. and it will basically going to uh create package json file but the dependency will not be installed so now what you have to do is that uh, you have to do npm install npm install chromeless save so when you do it uh, this dependency will be got getting installed here here yeah. so now we have chromeless installed in our system and this is uh, the basic uh, setup for it and we'll going to do one thing we have just created again a simple test case dot js test dot js as you can see the similar example that we are going to run here we had taken the chromeless and we just require the chromeless here we created an instance using of chromeless using the chromeless class after that uh, this run method will be run because uh, we are going to calling run here and if this run returns any kind of error then catch console will basically going to return uh, the console error for you and if uh, we are after uh, getting the instance of chromeless we are going to call it methods the methods are go to type press wait and take screenshot so these are the steps like scps going there typing this getting the third url and screenshot and printing the screenshot so let's see uh, how it's going to run uh, so to run this test case we have to just type node and test.js and click on okay so if you are running it on local so what will happen is that uh, this chromeless will basically be opened with certain kind of view right uh, i know you guys will be like confused uh, it is a headless browser why i am able to see the view of it right but uh, sometimes what will happen is that uh, there is a particular flag that you have to switch it off uh, if you wanted to do it properly properly off but Uh, here, what we wanted to do is that if it is running using Chromeless, but well, we wanted to see certain test cases, that's why we have not uh, kept it like this. All right. So what you can do, uh, you just you can just copy this URL and paste it on your run, and you will able to see that it has uh, created a screenshot with Chromeless written and all the results whatever we are getting on it. So. this is how it's very simple to get chromeless uh, test cases run so let's do one thing let's see some examples let me uh, go to the examples so if you go to uh, the same github page go to example page where they are have uh, they have a twitter.js so basically the same thing is with the uh, with this uh, happening right now we created an instance of chrome we call the class chromeless and after that we created an instance we have called a screenshot and after that we are going to go, go to this url type those username password click on submit button wait for some status or uh, status class and take a screenshot of it so this is how the twitter.js will work and similarly you can try out with this uh, other methods like this google pdf what exactly it does is that it creates a pdf of it so after going to the results with the chromeless it creates a pdf and print out the local path of pdf and if it is your if you are running on aws it's going to print that aws path all right so uh, this is uh, like 
all getting started of chromeless with uh, one more thing i want to do highlight is that uh, give me a second here uh, this one if you wanted to like understand what is headless chrome the first thing you have to uh, you just read this article getting started with headless chrome here they have mentioned that you can call the head any chrome after chrome 59 plus you can call headless chrome with these arguments you can uh, dump dom using this you can create pdf with this you can uh, take screenshots and what and what not and they have also mentioned some of the method so chromeless is kind of extend, extended version of this headless chrome internally it uses chromeless chrome headless chrome right all right you can do uh, different different things using this one but uh, i just wanted to do like if you wanted to clearly understand what is headless chrome and all you have to go through this url it's an awesome article and uh, i'll paste that link in the her there you can just copy it if you wanted to see all right okay so uh, another thing that i would like to like tell you about is is that uh, one more thing yeah this is a like browserless if you wanted to use kind of uh, a headless browser service you can try it out this browserless.io it's like simple thing it's basically calling the puppeteer uh, apis puppeteer is another uh, library that is written as written with uh, return uh, for the headless chrome basically consuming the headless chrome apis it is written by google team but chrome chromeless is basically written by certain graphql guys and uh, say it's very simple basically creating an instance and calling the its service and here you can run your test service on the cloud and basically tired of running the cloud try browser so you can try it out with this service but it has a pricing on just wanted to like highlight this one thing. all right so uh, that's all from this tutorial basically it's uh, like getting started with headless chrome thing and if you like this video please share subscribe and let me know what your thoughts in upcoming tutorials we are going to extend our test cases and possibly we will try to run those in jenkins or probably certain kind of a continuous integration and continuous environment all right guys thanks a lot and have a nice day